Hey guys, it's DRT Shock, and I'm going to show you how to use our new shop plugin. So the reason that we had to get a new one was because the old one would allow you to store items inside of your sign, so that way the items became unwritable, and that was just kind of unfair. So there's our new, uh, our new spawn right there. So these are going to be player shops here. I am going to show you how to use them. So the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is just set up your chest and your base. I'm going to do it right here. We're going to pretend this is my base right here. So I'm going to set up 64 diamonds. So all right. All you have to do is you uh, put it in a chest, you link it with a redstone torch, and that will link that chest with any signs that you make. So all right, now what you can do is you make a sign, you leave the first line blank. On the second line, you do the quantity that you want to do. So we're just going to do one at a time. Now what you do is you do the buy price and the sell price. So how much it would cost for somebody to buy it from you, and then how much it would cost for somebody to sell it to you. So say you only want to... Uh, let people buy your items. We're going to sell one, um, so we're selling one diamond, so we'll, we're going to sell it for $69, and then we're not going to sell, or allow people to sell to us. And then diamond. So you have to do price, space, colon, new price. And if you don't want to do that, just type zero, and then the sign will format itself. So what it does here, it's DRT shock, one diamond, and I have that means I have 64 in the chest that's linked over there. It automatically knows that I have that chest linked. And then it'll allow you to buy it for 69. So there we go. It let me buy one diamond for $69. And then say that you want um, you have to right click it to buy. And then say that a shop buys and sells. All you have to do is you left click, but right there, shop owner does not want you to sell stuff there. So alright, let's make a sign that sells diamonds too. So we're going to leave that. We're going to do one and we're going to do um, say 30 and then 69 diamond. So all right, what this will allow me to do is it will allow me to sell a diamond to it for $69 and then buy it for 30. So we're going to buy a diamond for $30 and then we're going to sell it back for $69. So all right, that's all there really is to it. You can break your own signs. Um, and the thing with this plugin is, anybody can break anybody's signs. Um, so you cannot, if you make a sign in the wilderness or in your faction base or something like that, anybody can break them there. Um, but if you have it in your rented shop at spawn, only you will have permissions there. So you know your signs will be safe. So, oh, there's Ixius. All right. So that's all there really is to it. Then what you can do, say I go over to my base here. I empty my chest. Um, zero. So, see, it says that there aren't any left. Then say that I just put like one in there or something. Um, the sign changes colors. It's really cool. So, alright, there we go. So it says that there's one left. Let's buy it. Oh, and it's gone. So, alright. And then the other thing that you can do is there is a way to check how much is left. Let's check the commands. Um, all right, so what you can do is you can do slash shop, or slash str. So let's look at the sign str, str. So DRT Shock bought that, and then slash ptr. So, all right. So that way you can view the transaction history for that sign. It makes it really useful. Um, that way it doesn't broadcast messages to you in chat. Um, which would get really annoying when people spam buy stuff, but it's really nice so you can see who is buying what and when. So, all right, that's all there really is to this plugin. It's uh, very useful. I think uh, I think you guys should like it a lot. So, all right, that's it. Have a good day.